What's up, YouTube? So today, I got a present. Gotta love the holidays, right? Somebody uh, very close to me gave me a new monitor. It's 32 inch, 1440p, 144 hertz refresh rate. Gave me a monitor, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, with some reviews about it. Uh, they say it's pretty decent. Some people have gotten a few dead pixels. I hope that's not the case for me, but what I'm going to find out is to open it up and see uh, what we got. So let me go ahead and uh, get a razor. We'll pop this thing open. Uh, I'll put the model number on the title of the video, but let me get a knife. Uh, I don't know if it's noticed today, but I am recording in 4K at 60 frames per second. I have my Galaxy <clears throat> S20 Ultra 5G, so uh, hopefully the quality is decent. You know, I paid a lot of money for this phone, so I really hope the quality is decent. We'll find out when I upload. All right. And let's get this. Oh, looks like it might all come out in one piece. I might put the camera down to slide this out. Hold on. Okay, so box out of the way. Looks like the monitor is in between these two foam pieces. I haven't opened it yet because I don't want it to fall out. It looks like... Let's pull the stuff out of the back before I do that. Looks like I've got a power cable. The stands. A D oh yes, display port, cable. I need one of those. Right now I'm running HDMI and display port. And the back stand, I guess this mounts to the monitor and then the feet mount to the bottom of this. And uh, manual, yes, nobody ever reads that. I think there might be screws in there, but all right. Let's uh, very gently so I don't break anything. Put this baby face down. This is just the front right there. So if I pop this up, I should have a monitor. Let's, uh, wish you could put it in wide angle. I guess I can't do wide angle view when I'm recording in 4K. Well, oh, I'm gonna have to rip it open, whatever. Oh, come on. Oh, looks good so far. It's not like it's cracked. <laughs> uh, does this go through the mail because of COVID? So I'm glad to see that uh, so far there's no damage. I might have to put the stand together first so I can hook it up. So I might cut you guys up for a minute and come right back after I uh, screw it together first to find the screws. All right, no screws on side yet, but let's have the, the legs just go on the mount like this. So just clip on, I guess one screw goes through there. Maybe three, who knows? We'll see if I can find them. It might be three screws. Ah, I just spent five minutes looking for them. The screws are right here. All right, well, there we go. All right, well, I got my screws in. So, stand is, uh, it's just sturdy towards the front anyways. Looks like this just kind of hooks on the back. Doesn't look like the screw's on, so, it's just gotta grab the monitor and just lock it in. Probably gotta move this monitor to this side, and this one I might put up here, we'll see. Oh, this bad boy's big. Um, so yeah, the great thing about uh, the instructions is they don't tell you how to do anything. So if you look back here, the top is clipped in, but I don't know how to get the bottom to pop in. I don't know if I should force it. I mean, I'm not gonna force it. Uh, there's a couple of screws that hold it. It's like a little plastic. Uh... Let me take it off and show you. Oh, man, the anxiety of carrying that. Um, so the top C is metal and hooks on, but the bottom, it looks like it hooks in the bottom, but what, did you put, you put this on and once it's on, it's on forever? Oh, well, looks like it. It's like it's just spring-loading. Push it back, pop it in, and that's it. It never comes out again. So if you're trying to wall mount, I guess your uh, SOL. Huh. I guess you're literally never getting it back out. Oh well. I mean, I don't plan to wall mount it, so here we go. Well, I feel like an idiot now. So actually, if you look under here, you can push this tab up, just moves the spring-loaded piece up, then you can pop it in. So up first, then down, push that tab, slide the back in. All right. All right, well, there are literally no instructions on how to make this pop in. So you can see I have it halfway in. I tried pulling that tab and pushing it in, but 
there's not much really anywhere for you to grab and push. I'm not gonna apply pressure and break my screen. So for now it's gonna sit like that, a little dangerous, but once in my corner, it won't really matter. All right, time to plug in the uh, display port cable. Ah, okay, it's all plugged in. I guess what I gotta do now is, uh, if it ever focuses, there we go. Power button. Pew. All right, we have power. And it's on. Oof. Definitely need some calibration. Look at that. Difference in color. It's much more red. Interesting. So, gonna have to adjust the, a little more blue into this, a little less red. Uh, but uh, okay, let's uh, push it back and change the settings to the computer. Okay, let's mess up the settings a little bit. So that's up and down. The bottom button before the power button is to hit OK. Uh, let's say cool, see what happens. Huh, okay. That's better. I'm gonna leave it that for now. Right now, we, we still gotta get everything else set up. Brian seems okay. At least for my taste. I'm not trying to go blind, you know, from <laughs> having a mono that's way too bright, but okay, so it looks like I have this one set up too. I mean, my monitor might change that as well. Ah, <sighs> man, I hate Windows 10. Windows 8 was, not Windows 8, Windows 7 was my go-to. But ever since I got my Ryzen 3900 XT, you can only use Windows, I think you use Windows 8, but Windows 10, definitely recommend it. Windows 7 will no longer work, now your drivers will read. Um, so you're screwed, you have to go and upgrade. System, come on. All right, okay, identify. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Still got my icons here. That's great. <laughs> All right, whatever. We'll figure it out in a second. So right away, actually, I think the settings still haven't changed much. Let's go ahead and fiddle this a little bit. So I got monitor. I guess just a monitor too, but whatever. Monitor to scale it, uh, extend as these plays. Okay, this is great enough. I'm gonna have to, I guess, open up. Uh, I'm gonna have to open. Really? Let me see if I can turn this monitor off and change. So we can change the resort to this one. There we go. That's more like it. That was still off. Oh, change back. Really? Oh, hold on, I'm about to fix this. Okay, there we go. So. NVIDIA makes it much easier. I have a GTX 1070 Ti, so NVIDIA is my go-to. Okay, so primary display is now that. Let's set up uh, display resolution. Here is my monitor. Full screen. So display 144 hertz. That is smoother. <laughs> Guess I'm about to play some games tonight, check it out. All right, I got Call of Duty open. I just changed to full screen, 144 hertz refresh rate. I am going to apply. Hmm, should I turn on VSync? Hmm. I'm gonna leave this table for now. See how it looks first. All right, well, that was easy. Ooh, smooth. Let's uh, let's do the hardcore nuke town. Yeah, I'll do it right now. Come on. Ah, I need to do this at night time so there's no glare in the back. This should be interesting. Then again, you guys are watching this at 60 frames per second. If YouTube lets me upload it at 60 frames per second. I'm gonna be looking at this at a 144 hertz, right? So if I have a 140 uh, frame rate, which I should make it display. Oh, 
be before my starts. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Ah, too late. I've been playing for a few minutes now, but I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed so far. Refresh rate is very good, very smooth. I can see people popping up before, uh, before I get my, uh, my booty shot here. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good so far. All right. Well, I'll be playing with this for the uh, next couple of days, but I hope you all like this. Um, if you did, like, share, and subscribe, please. And I hope I helped you out. If you have any more questions, just let me know.